University professors studying a newer species of a spider that has made its way to the southeast over the past few years. News 19's Rachel Rip tells us more. Black and yellow, vibrant, but not deadly. The Joro spider is now being seen here in the Midlands. The difference with the Joro spiders is it's not native to North America. Uh, it's relatively new here. It was discovered in, you know, just not even a decade ago. Uh, we suspect it's been here a bit over a decade, but it was discovered in North Georgia. And uh, the populations are increasing incredibly rapidly. The worry scientists have is that this Joro spider will take web space and food away from other species if their population continues to grow. The odds are they're pushing out native species, but we just don't know yet. David Coyle, an assistant professor at Clemson, whose specialty is forest health and invasive species, says for the sake of a balanced ecosystem, we need all kinds of spiders, not just one. Different types of spiders catch different things. Uh, Joro spiders are large enough that they're probably not going to catch really tiny things like mosquitoes. Experts say these Joro spiders lay up to 500 eggs each year. There's also a way you can be involved in the research of the Joro spider. Download this iNaturalist app, take a photo, and upload it. You'll be geolocated into the database. Reporting in Columbia, Rachel Rip, News 19, WLTX. Well, those Joro spider sightings have been reported in Georgia, the Carolinas, and in Tennessee. Now, that spider is not the only large spider that can be found here in South Carolina. If you want to identify that spider, look for the yellow body with dark stripes. Its legs are also striped. They also have a spot of red on their underbelly. They're similar to two more common spiders in the state. The yellow garden spider is a bit smaller. Its legs are solid black at the ends. It's easily distinguishable by a zigzag pattern in the center of its web. And the yellow silk or banana spider looks similar to the Joro, but its, uh, its back is often a solid yellow. It's also lacking the red coloring on its belly. The good news, despite their scary appearance, we're being told these spiders are not considered dangerous to humans. So if you're eating supper tonight, Chief, I know a lot of folks are eating their supper right now. You think of spiders, you go, Ugh.